What's up guys? Welcome to the video. So today is episode uh, three of Chasing Health. So it's been pretty busy these last few days. One, because if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I took a mini vacation uh, to Mexico and it was a much needed vacation. I really wanted to go see my grandma. She's 88 years old and I really wanted to see her while she's still around. And it makes me sad to say that out loud, but I was really anxious before going because I really felt like I needed to see her. And, and I'm so glad that I did. Lalo and Sophie were able to go and that was their first time visiting my side of the family in Mexico. I was so excited about because they got to see that part of me um, and how I grew up. And so it was really uh, an emotional trip, but I'm glad I'm back. We got back just like two days ago and guys, <laughs> Okay, let me just say, if you're not following me on Instagram, I post there a lot more regularly so you're able to see more up-to-date stuff, so go follow me on Instagram. But if you haven't and you just follow me here on YouTube, well, <laughs> let me introduce you to Ace. Meet Ace. I just cleaned out his ears. I gotta bandage them up and post them up again. Um, but this is Ace, my 10-week-old Toby. My Doberman. I just took him a bath because he was a little stinky. We are potty training, so he's got on his diaper. <sighs> Your girl has been busy. I basically came back from vacation to be a mom again of a newborn. It's been lovely. I haven't had a lot of rest. <laughs> it's been a journey, but I'm so excited. Having a Doberman has been on my vision board as a family for a really long time. And so I'm really glad that we were able to cross that off. And Sophia is ecstatic. She is so happy. She's been wanting a dog and you guys know that she's an only child and we're not planning on having any more kids. So I was very excited to be a dog mom and now I'm a dog mom and you guys are gonna um, be able to watch him grow up, which is really cool because I've been sharing my life on YouTube and Sophia. A lot of you guys have seen Sophia grow up since she was one. And it's really nice to look back at those videos and see how she's grown as an individual and myself. And now we get to share that same experience with Ace. Anywho, back to the series. I wanted to share with you guys my workout from the other day and just talk about what I am doing as far as my training, how many days a week that I am training for, and yeah, just a little bit of my workout. I'll have it down in the description box below if you guys want to screenshot it and try it for yourselves. Hello guys, welcome to the voiceover. I'm not going to go in depth with each exercise, but I did want to talk about where my training program is coming from and how many days a week I'm training. So you guys know Lalo. He is my hubby, okay? And now that we're stationed at Fort Hood Army Base, he is actually supporting the TACP unit. Now, if you guys don't know what TACP unit means, that's okay, neither did I. 
But basically, I guess the best way I can explain it is if you've ever seen an Air Force recruitment video where you see all these guys like jumping out of planes and doing all this cool stuff in the Air Force, well, that's pretty much them. Their only job really is to maintain their athletic shape and go off into missions to do what they need to do. Since Lalo is supporting their unit, he has access to train with their personal trainers, physical therapists, etc. because they have their own team that they use in order to train. That being said, uh, Lalo has shared their training program with me. Now, I will say I don't have all of the equipment that they use, so I do modify some of it. I am training five days a week, and it typically takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to do. Um, I will say I do try and stretch for at least 20 minutes prior to working out, so that does add on a little bit, but my actual training itself only takes about 45 minutes to an hour. So I've really enjoyed this training. It is different from what I've done in the past. It's really focused on core, definitely really focused on technique. So after doing this for seven weeks, yes, I have completed phase one of this training program and I can honestly say that even though I feel like some days I'm not working out, like it doesn't seem as intense as I'm used to, I have still seen results and this is based on my recent bod pod. I showed you guys in the last video how I lost body fat percentage and this is all in combination with this style of training as well as tracking my macros. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope this inspires you to continue your fitness journey despite any health conditions you may have. Quick plug, if you guys like the shorts that I'm wearing, they will be launching very very soon on versafitwear.com. Be sure to follow and support my brand. That would really mean a lot. But I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next episode of Chasing Health.